<sighs> hi guys welcome back to our youtube channel it's me miss charix uh today i'm just going to be telling you all about my pregnancy journey so this is how i found out i was pregnant i was feeling some pains arimoxane and then i found my gp and made an appointment and for my urine samples just to check if i was pregnant or not and because back home like i was testing i had bought a bunch of uh pregnancy tests just to be checking myself because we were planning about getting pregnant and all that but twice i would have negative i went to a gp they tested the line came out it faint like it was really faint and then she was like maybe you're pregnant and i assume it's three weeks pregnant i was so so excited but then because it was faint and she was like maybe i was like i'm not going to be so excited right now until i like yenya so it's a positive positive <laughs> then i waited i went back home uh i was testing myself every other day again because nani need my test to work around and it was just the same thing the same thing no like a real positive line then one day after some i think after two weeks it came out two double lines and i was so excited so i wanted to surprise my husband with the news and then i thought of my ideas like getting a t-shirt you're going to become a dad or and all that but then lastly i was like ah Pandaka and the Amazon Bandano Nama books. Then I thought of a book. The book was like a candy to Ramoy. And for me, the book Rise of Tidid Sasha Gawanda as well. So I opted for the book. Then I bought a book for, um, for Amazon. Rakanzi, you're going to become a dad. It was going to be delivered the day when my husband will be off, will be off and I'll be working. <laughs> So the book came. That's how my husband got to know about it, and I was at work. When the guys told me to come, my husband already knew because I didn't want to surprise a forty in person. I didn't want to cry because I know that she was like shakudaro. So we were so happy. Taka far at this, we were excited. We celebrated. The um, first forward, first month. I was okay second month okay that month until like seven months seven eight months mm -hmm. pace up i was okay the whole pregnancy i was working nothing like i i never had anything and no nausea no vomiting no sickness or anything i would eat everything and no major cravings so it was okay Overall, my pregnancy journey was just fine. Dancing, I am dancing, I am dancing. It's anything like I had planned in my mind. Because when I get pregnant, <laughs> but all that it was in vain. <laughs> so, they end up with my scan, my midwife appointments, and I would go with my husband. Some of them, especially my scan, yes, they would go together and it was beautiful i remember the first scan but can one like a baby kid it was just something it was just a a priceless moment takafara i couldn't even feel her kicks yet but just seeing her picture kake it was beautiful then fast forward um when i was 16 weeks 17 weeks I started feeling to my butterflies. <laughs> I started feeling to my butterflies in my tummy. But then that time I didn't know <laughs> because everyone was telling me around 16 weeks you feel the baby. 16 weeks I wasn't feeling anything. Then 16, 17, around that same time again, but I didn't know that was the... <laughs> <laughs> that was the kicks and all that anyway not kicks my movements because that time i don't think i didn't got kick it was just my movements one day i was like i need to listen carefully i need to feel the baby moving it's the baby moving so every day now i'll try to listen i'll try to 
pay attention not to listen anyway pay attention to the movements and everything it was beautiful it was so beautiful and it's still beautiful <laughs> but now she was because baby i no kika and baby i no move she like then that was uh, around 16 17 weeks 18 weeks 19 weeks um when i was around six months i traveled to zimbabwe for kunosungirwa it's a tradition that we do in our country like uh, when you're pregnant for your first baby you go to your family and then my husband's family comes waiter shawano eater so that the whole pregnancy journey will be smooth and all that so i traveled back home shikano eatwa it was beautiful as well baby was just okay traveling all the way from here to zimbabwe i think it was around 19 hours it was okay and 19 hours again coming back it was okay continued with my work it was just okay and then around 35 weeks i couldn't do it anymore i couldn't take it anymore the pains now the pains that i would feel oh god this past three weeks because today i'm 38 weeks one day these past three weeks have been a nightmare <laughs> i can't turn of course i can turn but it's so painful for me to turn when i'm sleeping and peeing <sighs> every hour i have to be in the toilet to pee every hour i'm going to the toilet to do a little pee <sighs> the peeing getting out of bed just standing to walk oh god this little human arundwani sapphire this baby arundwani sapphire it's 35 from 35 weeks until now but I thank God because when we they cry, go papa ino tanga until vasunungu ka varingo achiruazio. But for me, it's been a beautiful journey. And right now, she's actually moving, moving. <laughs> and anytime I can just deliver the baby, even by video, <laughs> so you all be careful. Oh, uh, but. Generally, I thank God for this pregnancy and I thank God for my husband because he's been there like all the time. Pantuno Mborwazi Wapandita, my back pains, he would massage me, he would massage my legs, cook for me. Kanandikata and Sku Kwanso Bika, you would just do everything like Ava Kubasa, Oya Bika, clean the house, <clears throat> like spoiling me. I thank God for him because. I don't know if I was going to do this pregnancy, this night, or uh, I, I don't know. This pregnancy, <laughs> you know, that we need a very good partner, like a good husband, and that's how my husband is. He's been with me throughout. We, um, like, we did our gender review, we were both happy. She say like, literally every step of the way we've been together we've been happy we've been supporting each other like paninda kurwazi you are he would just be like baby you can do this i know you can i'm like no i can't <laughs> no i can't but i can of course because i'll be doing it so it's just beautiful it's just beautiful it's been a beautiful journey and um, now we're just waiting for our baby to come and then it will be a family of three family of three we don't know what the family of three will be like but we are hoping it's going to be nice and we know it's going to be nice and we thank god for choosing us to be our baby's parents and we know he will be with us all the way my parents are baby is kicking a lot right now I'm feeling something right now. <laughs> right now, we've bought everything for the baby: the cot bed, the bedside crib, um, the pram, the car seat—like literally everything. And 
everything is in order baby's room is in order though we're going to be sleeping with our baby of course because we can't just leave her in the other room Ega, we'll be sleeping with our baby and right now i think we're done with everything we're just waiting for baby to come so i'll update you guys maybe uh hospital or when she's here we'll do another video just to keep you informed of how the labor went <laughs> because do the major thing just started right now thank you guys for watching and don't forget to subscribe to our channel give us a like and i'll see you next time bye shabby Oof.